Uh, tell me, um, after 13 this place, uh, 3, 4, 5. What, what is that for you, actually? Because, I mean, there is a million different ways to, to play this. As in what the place means to me? Or yeah, yeah, in, in, in type, what, what character, what, what, what sort of atmosphere? Well, it's quite painful. And, and as it goes on, it kind of gives hope, but then again, it doesn't. Yeah, That's yeah, sorry. But no, because we got lost in the, in the sound yeah. texture. And, and, but actually, yes, you're right. It's this mixture between this painful thing. It's not really scream, a scream, but it's still something, in a way, desperate. Mm -hmm. And there is also this, yeah, little hope. But so in this way, we, we, need, we need a little bit more mm -hmm. tension, maybe, no? Mm -hmm. So the thing is that the crescendo is written only on the last bar, right? Correct? Yeah. So either you, 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 you get a little bit more tension or intensity, not so much in the volume, but more in the character of the note, and then you build it before. If we have this type of sound, it's 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 more luminous. <laughs> Rather, put kind of accents. I think the, of course, this, the temptation. My big, my big temptation is to make a big relentendo here, which is not written. Mm -hmm. But what is written is is those tenuto. So certainly he wants to insist a little bit on that. Uh, no accents, but yeah. a little bit more painful. Those notes. 